me just, um, I got to think of something better to demonstrate and to then tell you. See how like I buried the space? I did. Like that's what you can do. Like that's what would be the like if I was gonna handle it, that's the way I would do it. And um, you, you gotta listen to your solos, you know. But that's that's the basic way you want to do it because if, like I can like normally if I'm just like practicing, say. see like that's practically pretty good for you going about it yeah you know like what I would do is I would like don't start on don't start your eighth notes on that last four beats start it like um, start it six beats back start it five beats back and like like just think of it that way like that's the way I would, that's what I would do with it um, because that way, plus you'll force your soloist to keep his own time. Because if you're a drummer, like sooner or later, you run into that where people are just laying on top of it. Especially guitar players. Tires out around, right? That's the way that things feel, you know. And that's like that's what I would do. Like I would just, you know, it's one of those things you have to work it out for the song. Yeah. Like I can't say start five beats back, start eight or seven, whatever. But I would say I would stay away from a, a even number. Uh -huh. Like that's like a secret to like making things move. Yeah. It's like start on start on beat two or start on beat two and a half. Like a lot of times. Um, um, like even in, in tabula, like if they, sometimes like if, if they have like what they call lira, like I say if I'm playing seven eight, it's like Between your 
um, second and third eights. Mm -hmm. Like start on that, like you play, you play eight, then you play five and a half, and then you put one in, and maybe finish it on two. Like instead of going to one, finish it on two. Ends up being over the bar. And yeah, and like that's one secret to making things move forward. Like one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's Dave Brubeck. Yeah. Oh, it is Dave Brubeck. Yeah. He, he, um, Lou Rondo, I was I read all about that. Yeah. He came back from Turkey and, like, he was a jammer on 10. Oh, it's just like oh, yeah, there's, it, there's a, um, a CD called uh, Adventures in Time. Yeah. There, there's, and there's also, I think, um, that's a double CD. Like, mm -hmm. there, was, there was Time Out, and there was something else. I and mean, then there's one other one somewhere. Mm -hmm. But uh, Blue Rondo on the turf, I think that's a nine. Like, they play one, two, one, two, one, two. But you probably dance that. That's like a pretty common thing. And that on a nine, like that's, like I'm not going to call that a compound rhythm. I still say that's a simple rhythm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's one monster. But then the 39, that's another thing. Yeah. You know? Because the 39, you have so much space that you can fill in. Because that's one measure. Yeah. You know? Like imagine a 32 bar song in 39. Right. So. But the melody is taking them like five minutes. Right, exactly. The <laughs> song overall will be like 20 minutes. You know? But um, when, I, when I'm playing this 39, like basically I'm giving you two, two um, three. So the first one is. The next one is. Then 10. Then. Okay, so that's one thing. Now I can keep that going. change chord changes, like you'd be playing, you know, whatever chord changes is, and like they'll change the chord, one before or one after. And, the, and that like, it, it just kind of makes the, like you're walking, right? Yeah. Now you're <laughs> getting through the door, you know? I feel it. Like you know what I mean? Like that's how, that's what you want to do with that, is like, um, if, if you got one thing going, like get some, what your second part's going to do, like, um, don't like don't break the, the same spot. Like kind of hook it. So like one thing is kind of like you know one thing pulls the other one around. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how you and that competition that really helps you out a lot because it gives you it kind of doesn't work for you because no matter how good of a soloist you are, eventually you're gonna run out of air or you're gonna run out of ideas or you're gonna run out of um, you know, 
to know how to anything. <laughs> and you, so you're saying make those changes um, just kind of around one. Never like try to try to stay away from on one. Go back to two and a quarter, two and a half, or go over to two. And yeah, like don't. I mean, you can't do that all the time. Yeah, all the time. I'm but I'm saying, but like you want to do that enough that you can force everybody else to keep their own time. Mm -hmm. Like as a drummer, like that's one thing I would say. Like if guys are telling you you keep time while we solo, pack up and go home. Right. You know because I mean if you want to do Buddy Rich type of stuff, then that's one thing. But um, I mean I don't want to do that, mm -hmm. and I don't. It's it's labor at yeah. that point. You know, like there's a lot of like I mean especially rock wise. There's a lot of guitar players that are like saying, you keep the beat and we're going to play with our wah wah pedals for mm -hmm. 25 minutes. Yeah. You know? And that's that's not fair. You know, like, you guys got to keep your own time, you know? And, like, you know, like that's, but you have to spend enough time so that your time is solid. I mean, if you're going to work that, yeah. you know? But, but um, I, I was, like, I would say start off with like some short times, like a seven, mm -hmm. and then just start adding. Like that's the way I did it. I, mean, I just started off like basically my last 30 towels, we mostly did, did Rupak, tall, and got tall, just ten, Rupak is seven. And then we finally, like towards the end of the five months, we got into a couple of 11s and stuff like that. And so once I understood how, how the system worked, then I could say, okay, I want to do this. But believe me, if you want, you can go the other route, and you can study traditionally um, Indian tabla, uh, the tabla. Mm -hmm. You can study tabla, and you can like, um, you can study South Indian style. They're like 134, 143. I mean, believe me, they, they have. I mean, they have them all written out. Um, you just, it's, you're memorizing like sections, but like when I look at how I'm telling you, like, like I'm measuring this 39, and it, I'm not thinking 39. What are you thinking? I'm thinking this. It's not, you know, it's not that really that hard once you, it's, it's one of those things you just got to practice until you get up over to the top of the hill, and then you just kind of ride it to the high ground. You know, like that, it's not really as, as hard as it, like it sounds a lot harder than it actually is. Learn the individual section, sections, and then the only thing you have to really memorize is what sections come next. Yeah, it's like you remember, like, I'm thinking, like, like I'm not even thinking in numbers anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm just thinking, like, I know, I think, I hear a space. Mm -hmm. Like, like what, I, what I hear is, that's what I hear. Mm -hmm. 